anyways, I guess we should talk about. Uh, <sighs> So I, I saw when people were posting about this, obviously the anti-libertarian, libertarian party, political crusaders, uh, you know, this, you know, Cody's win, you know, just just confirmed the validity of the political process. And that's, uh, you know, this is uh, this is a, a strike against purists, you know, like we've, we've got to work inside the political yeah. process because this is how things get done. And uh, <laughs> Cody suing the State Department no. is, a, is a bit different than someone voluntarily joining up with the LP to run for political office. I mean, if you look back to it, his main business was shut down and there were violations of his constitutional rights. I mean, his main – in the new Radical documentary, uh, he, he said that, like, you know, their, their idea – their, their main business plan was to make the easy money off of selling, you know, CAD files. I mean, that's what they were – going to do but they couldn't do that so his main business was shut down um and uh, i guess there was a constitutional argument uh which he would know because he almost finished law school right uh so he he was uh <laughs> he was uh you know he was very much suited uh for this fight um additionally too i mean th this this win doesn't therefore mean that uh political crusaders are, are correct and that's uh you know the political process the way is the way to change things this was a super high profile case he's been on every major news network multiple times he had a fucking documentary made about him and his fight which is on i think uh, uh hulu and amazon video um to, to claim this means that the political process works is ridiculous and naive just because cody wilson was able to do this does not therefore mean that joe schmo this controlled schizophrenic <laughs> lp political crusader can you know wander into the LP meeting and you know become elected president or something like that or you know repeal laws or, or whatever it is? I mean that, that, uh, that, that right. the logic does not match up here. Not not one person s filled out a ballot in Cody Wilson's favor, right? Right. The the judges yeah. ruled the judges ruled against him, up the chain all the way to the DOJ. The DOJ is a non elected position, so voting. Voting the political right. process Good point. had no bearing on this case at all. That is true because he lost when he took it to the Supreme Court. Yeah, yep. he, he lost. So yeah, political crusading had. I mean, uh, yeah, did he did he fight it? Yeah, but I mean, if, if, for example, man, if the state told me to remove something from my website, um, I mean that's kind of a violation of free speech, right? I mean, as an anarchist, I, I would if I had the means to do it, I, I'd I'd feel obligated to fight it, right? What am I gonna do? Just roll over and let them censor me? Um, where does it end? Uh, so so you know, just rolling over wouldn't be an option. Uh, so you know, therefore, the circumstances Cody found himself in, compared to again your LP political, political crusader, are not similar in the slightest. So um, it, it's really funny. Political crusaders will always try to find, you know, even the smallest verification that, you know, they're that they're doing the right thing. Oh, marijuana is decriminalized. Uh, you know, that's that's uh, so great. Now we can smoke weed, but we have to give up our goddamn firearms. It's like, that's not a political win, you jackasses. <laughs> that's not a political win. So for for it's <laughs> no, none of you guys. It's, it's not, an it's appeasement. None of you guys, yes, yes. Yes. So, so, so for 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 people supporting this podcast, obviously you you know better than this. You 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 know this, but man, it's so frustrating. It really is. Uh, you know, they they grasp at straws because I mean, it it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Um, so I, I just wanted to point that out because uh, I, I didn't want to get into a debate about that uh, yesterday. I, I, I made the mistake of getting into a debate with some guy. It was the first time I've gotten in a debate on Fashion Book in a long time. But he said something along the lines of, uh, you know, so you know, some girl said that she was uh, an anarchist, but she wanted, you know, uh, she wanted uh, some some uh, she wanted some laws to, you know, keep people in check. Uh, you know, that's the Constitution. And, uh, you know, I'm, I made the argument that, you know, there can still be laws and rules in an anarchist society. The only difference is that they'll be individu individually consented to by each individual rather than, you know, arbitrary arbitrary dictates by those who falsely imagine themselves to be our rulers. And uh, he said, no, what, what you're talking about is a constitution then. It's self-government. And uh, obviously I couldn't I couldn't stand for that. So he's calling, you know, anarchism self-governance, uh, you know, the constitution self-governance. And, uh, you know, I had to tear no. through, you know, I, I went through Article God. 1, Section 2 and just listed all the powers of Congress. And uh, I said, uh, no, it's not the same because uh, the, you know, these, these individuals, anarchists who, uh, you know, agree to these laws wouldn't have the power to tax. They wouldn't have the power to, uh, you know, maintain an army. They wouldn't have the power to uh, counterfeit money. They wouldn't have the power to, uh, you know, steal land through eminent domain, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so, I mean, the, these folks are just, uh, I, I don't know, controlled schizophrenics, man. What, what, what can we really expect? Oh, yeah, I, Okay, I, I had a, I had a message on on my page the other day. Wolf in the Sheep's World. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't seen anything on the page about Tom Woods, Dave Smith, and now Jason Stapleton joining the LP as the Mises Caucus. 
members from this page. It's a oh, yeah, shift to starting too. to re reestablish a libertarian ideal to the core tenant of the LP. Dude, put down the pipe. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't matter who the LP Mises Caucus is. It doesn't matter who the the Senate Freedom Caucus is. All right. It it doesn't matter. It absolutely does not matter because nobody nobody that is truly freedom oriented will ever rise to a position of power in a system that is designed to keep the those that are truly in power uh, free to choose their own puppets. Right, right. And, I mean, and that's, that, that and that's, is, and that's that is what, a fact, and, and that's and that's what that's the same sort of mindset that maintains this political political hierarchy is that, um, or you, this this yeah this political hierarchy is that so uh, well you have the chance to be in it uh, and therefore you know keep it you make sure it exists that you might have the <laughs> the, the the possibility to actually get into some of these positions which is ridiculous uh it's 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 really ridiculous and yeah I I saw that too and uh I. I may, I guess I kind of made the mistake. I guess I didn't do the the proper filtering, but I, I had the longest policy on fascist book that so I would do an initial look at someone's page because you know there, there are a lot of spam requests. I have to do my due diligence there so I don't get porn, you know, fake porn, porn, you know, friends on my, uh, on my on my friends list. But uh, you know, I I'd make a point of you know uh, you know doing a rough look at and see if they promote the Libertarian Party or you know political crusading or something like that. If they did, I would just delete their friend request because I don't want to associate with them. I made a policy change, uh, I guess, a, a couple months back, and um, I would I would add anyone you know even political crusaders. I'd add them and I just unfollow them immediately. I guess I didn't do my due diligence enough because now my feed is full of fucking political crusaders and it's frustrating <laughs> as all hell. And then uh, there's a big group of them, yeah, who are talking about that, you know, the Libertarian Party radical caucus. There's no such thing as radical political parties, you jackasses. Come on. <laughs> no. Come on. No. It's, it's not radical to work within the system. It's not radical. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really not. Going and fighting in Rojava against ISIS. Uh, that's radical, Amir Taki. That's that's fucking radical. Uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, be, being a part of the Dark Wallet team. That's you know been mentioned uh, within the doors of the, you know they 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 have the uh, they have the uh, software for for Dark Wallet inside Fenson. Um, they're worried about money laundering, and uh, you know as Cody and Amir did, they openly promoted it as a money laundering tool. That's radical. Those are radical things that people do. Political crusading is not <laughs> radical. It's conforming to the system that has been here. That's that was put in place by those who falsely imagined themselves to be our rulers. So, this this idea that there can be a radical caucus within the Libertarian Party, God damn it, man! I I I, I thought some of these people knew better, but I, it's it's just like this most recent now, election about, cycle. I thought people knew better, but man, was God damn, was I disappointed? Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> how about how about a hacker stole instructions for a Reaper drones and is selling them on the dark web? That's, that's radical. radical. Yes, that is the the L, the LP saying, "Please vote for Gary, or please, please, please vote for 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 Web or Kokesh." That's not fucking radical. No, no, it's not. And, oh. and obviously, the argument is always, "Well, we have to have a platform to spread these ideas." And it's like, okay, so you're going to get up on the Libertarian Party stage and spread Libertarian ideas to Libertarians. Um, the same people okay. that nominated <laughs> Gary Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good luck with oh. that, there, guys. Good luck. Good luck. So, 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 yeah. I guess to, to return to the point here, was uh, I guess was was Cody technically politi politically crusading? Um, I would say yes, but he was kind of forced into it, right? This wasn't really. This wasn't. Uh, I guess uh, this wasn't really a voluntary thing. Uh, would you agree? Well, no, it was not a voluntary voluntary thing, and you do miss all of the shots you don't take. Um, that's a famous sports quote. I don't remember who said it, but um, it was it was his only option. It it was it was literally his only option. Like he he couldn't really go on tour at the time, and and there was talks of uh, Congress banning three D printers and and all this other stuff. Um, so he 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 had one out. Like or well, he had technically two outlets, but the other outlet was like super illegal and and all that other stuff. So his only op his only option was to challenge it, to to try and take on the government. Yes, it has some political pr crusading aspect to it, but I would I would realistically call it like a legislative crusading as a, as opposed to political crusading because like he wasn't trying to get anybody elected or or voting or anything like that. And as we discussed. Nobody that ever appeared on a ballot was involved in the case. The the the, the DOJ is a, is a non-elected position. Mm -hmm. So 
it, it it's 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 kind of it's kind of a gray area, but I I would say that it is political crusading, but it was his only option. Yeah, yeah, and I want to give a really hilarious quote that I saw. Um, this was uh from the uh, Daily Wire article, but um, <laughs> so this is radical. So uh so uh it says uh uh again this is Daily Wire quote. If Hillary had won, Wilson told Wire that he quote he was uh, that quote he was ready to launch his DefCAD repository regardless of the outcome of of his lawsuit and then defend it in an armed standoff. I'd call a militia out to defend the server Bundy style," said Wilson, referencing the Bundy family cattle ranch who took the Fed who oh. took the Feds in 2014. Our only option was to build an infrastructure where we had one final suicidal mission where we dumped everything into the internet. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's, that's a little radical. Uh, Block maybe. Yeah, gl I'm glad it didn't Block come to that. Block change that shit. But yeah, exactly, exactly.